Hey folks, uh, today we're going to see a weird tutorial. Uh, so for the last four years, I'm having huge problem with all of my mouse. Uh, they all have these very, you know, annoying problem with my middle mouse. You know, uh, it jumps, the scroll jumps, the scroll jumping problem. So I need to fix it because I'm wasting lots of money on mouse without any reason. So it's it's not viable. Okay, be it expensive one, be the be it the middle one, or be the cheap one. Everyone has the same problem. So if you're suffering from this exact issue, so let's see how to solve it. Seems like it's a pretty easy solution. So let's get it started. All right. So we have a mouse here. Uh, you can see um, this is the main part. Okay, this is the problematic zone. This is the TDD encoder. That is the wheel encoder. So we need to fix it. So. What happens actually when we push our mouse middle mouse button this get uh, some force right uh, this will get some force and eventually uh, like six to seven months depend on your pressure points this mouse will have uh, will lose the contact okay so the middle mouse scroll will lose the contact eventually so it will wear out so let's just fix it so so how to fix it okay simple open it up open your pcb disconnect the power disconnect your mouse wheel go here so you will see this encoder will have some kind of seal okay sometimes it will have these four um, uh, hands sometimes it will not so let's just open it with our trusty paper cutter so you can use a knife you can use something like a thin metal sheet or something like that it needs to be bendy and it needs to be thin that's all so here we go so let's just cut it I mean uh, not cut it just bend it uh, push it and push these hands uh, you know to um, and outwards and uh, it will pop it okay okay it will pop all these four hands so here we go we have this 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 okay so there are two parts okay uh, use uh, uh, these components are very fragile so use it very carefully you know extract it very carefully so there are three parts one is a top metal shield uh, I mean it's a steel seal or something like that there is a rotary part and there is the signal processor so here we go okay so uh, first let's clean this part with rubbing alcohol and a cotton bud just clean it up a little bit that's all the main problem is this rotary part okay so this rotary part has three very tiny very fragile three copper brush okay you will see this one here this one here this one here so what we need to do is basically we need to uh, use a screwdriver a small screwdriver or you can use your paper cutter and uh, just uh, bend it a little bit outward okay so that it can have a proper contact with this guy that's the thing okay you need to contact you need a contact so what happens is basically it pulls towards you know the outside force so that's why this contact becomes loose and everything you know lots of problems so just uh, bend it outwards a little bit bend these three tiny little brush outwards a little bit that's all that's all you need okay done 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 here we go okay now just reassemble it like before use a wire cutter or a pliers and just you know seal it off just like before here we go now let's test it okay here we go scroll let's see let's scroll yeah perfect no problem at all perfect perfectly done save your money thank you